Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a home theater PC. Here we're looking at the parts home theater PC. I have some other videos on my channel about it. I built this completely out of parts of course. We're going to take a look at it here. Now we're looking inside the computer system. I'm going to go over the big parts that make a home theater PC stand out from a standard PC. First of all, you're going to need a TV tuner if you want to play TV on a, this thing, of course. TV tuners come in a wide range of specs. You can get a really standard cheapo tuner for like about $30. Most digital tuners for, that are for high definition, that kind of stuff, we usually run about $50 to $100 depending on what you get. Some tuners out there have dual tuners. That way you can record one show and watch a different channel at a time. This here is an, actually an older standard tuner with a hardware decoder. Another big important component that plays out in the home theater PC is the type of graphics card that you use. You want to have one that of course can be connected to your TV. If you're doing a lot of burning to DVDs it's important to have a really good CPU which this processor here is an AMD Athlon 64 3400 plus which is sufficient for this particular system it's also important to have a DV burner if you're planning on burning DVDs or to at least have a DV ROM drive if you want to play DVDs on the system It's also a good thing to have a card reader so you can insert your cards from your camera to watch videos and pictures. Having a system with audio jacks and USB ports and maybe a firewall port too is also a good idea. A lot of OEM computers out there don't include TV tuners, which you can usually buy an aftermarket tuner and install it into the system, no problem. Another important component is the computer's hard drive. This is actually what stores all your TV shows and stuff like that. This is a DVR. Another important component is your remote system. This is a USB remote. This is actually the receiver for the remote control. This is the infrared receiver itself. Here's the remote itself. This remote is like a TV remote. You have your play features. Remember, it's a, D it's a DVR. These are also for playing DVDs and stuff like that. You have your Windows Media Center button. This takes you to the main menu in Windows Media Center. That menu right there. You also have your navigation buttons, your back button, information. You have your volume, mute, and channel buttons. You have your guide button. You also have your numeric keypad with letters. Let's say you want to type in a search query. You just type in as, you're as if you're texting on a cell phone. You have your clear and your enter button, which surprisingly, this button here can also be used as a last button. Kind of odd, but anyway. Remotes will vary. They're usually about twenty to thirty dollars for a typical remote kit with USB. Some TV tuners come with remotes. Now we're looking at the back of the system. We'll go ahead and go over how everything plugs up. First and foremost, your cable TV. We're just running a cable line directly into the TV tuner on the computer. You can also have a set-top box that will plug in here too. For a media center PC to work properly, you have to have an internet connection. This is a wireless G desktop card, which I prefer a wireless N or Ethernet if you're going to be doing a lot of transferring videos across the network to different computers, let's say. Let's say you're watch, you want to watch your TV in a, in a different room, you need to have one of these with wireless N or a wire Ethernet connection. Here is the video out. From the video card, it's an S video to composite adapter. This runs down 
in plugs in down here at the video port where let's say the VCR or DVD player would plug in. Here is where the sound comes in from the line out. This utilizes let's say like a four dollar standard to RCA adapter cord. That's the standard plug on this side that plugs into your computer. And down here are the two RCA outs that plug into the TV. This particular TV uses a composite video. Newer televisions would typically use a component connection, which would also come from an S video adapter. Instead of having S video com to composite, you would have S video to component. Anyways, this particular IR receiver for the remote, it plugs in through USB right here. No keyboard or mouse is required on a computer like this. Here's the software that brings everything together. This is called Windows Media Center. It comes with Windows XP Media Center Edition 2005. It comes with Windows Vista Home Premium and Ultimate. It also comes with Windows 7 Home Premium, Professional and Ultimate. This is Windows Vista Home Premium. Take a look here. Media Center can do quite a few things. You can watch TV and movies with it. Play music. View pictures and videos. Look at online media. As well as sports. You also have a test section for settings, shutting down the system, burning CD or DVD, doing sync into a device, adding extenders, and all that kind of stuff. I'll have a much more detailed video about Windows Media Center coming up. Let's say you really like the features of Windows Media Center, but you would rather not have it on your main TV, or let's say you're in a bedroom or office, and you want to have TV functionality in there without buying the extra TV to take up a whole bunch of extra space. You can easily have a computer, desktop computer, to run as a Media Center system. Let's take a look at the Computer Mid Tower Deluxe. It is a Media Center system. It has a TV tuner. You can also use your own desktop system as your DVR. Record TV shows while working on the computer. Let's say you're typing up some documents or just surfing the web. You can have TV shows recorded in the background. You can also order a USB remote control to control this as your TV. As you can see, there's no use to have a big old bulky TV in your bedroom when you can have your computer set up to do it with Windows Media Center. Now, let's talk about the big advantages of having a home theater PC with Windows Media Center. The biggest advantage of all is that you're getting a lot of features for free. Let's say you're getting the guide, the DVR, it's everything all together. A lot of these features you have to pay, you would normally have to pay extra from your cable or satellite provider to have. And you have to lease the equipment and all that kind of stuff. It's just not worth it when you got a computer that can do it itself. With the Media Center PC, you can also watch videos, pictures, listen to your music, even if it's stored on different computers. When you have a network set up, you can view it all on your TV. Windows Media Center was designed to bring the computer into the living room, more or less. And I think Microsoft has done a really good job with it. And majority of PCs nowadays, with the right operating system, can have this functionality with just maybe with a few hardware upgrades. Anyways, have any questions or comments? Let me know.